Hi, Buster. <laughs> you got a yard full of stuff, don't you? Making some headway now, boys. It's about a four or five hundred pound limb that was up there, so I can I got this cut out now. I think I can pretty much get it all with my sawzall. Um, it's just a oh, there went the camera. It's just a matter of um, being careful on that roof and you know, keep switching the batteries out when they get uh, when they die when they run low so other than that should be good man we're making some headway that's what it looks like now it's getting better so um, For now, I'm gonna have to get a hold of the insurance company. I've got the number so that uh, we can figure out what to do about that. You know what I figured out? What to do about that? I'm just gonna fix it myself because I got a hold of the insurance custom, uh, cut black, black company. Mm-hmm. It bleed, bleed, bleed. Oh, folks. Our deductible is like 1500 bucks. So. I'm just gonna fix it. It'll cost way less than that, so. Eagle Carports, which is the manufacturer and uh, contractor for these things, they do not cover, the warranty doesn't cover anything that happens in inclement weather. So I'm translating that to, if there's a storm and something falls on it, we're not responsible. We're not gonna fix it, which is fine. Um, so what I may do is just get some, uh, a couple panels of sheet metal roofing, take the ridge cap off, take the old ones off, and then put those new ones on there and be fine. It may not match, probably ain't going to match right, but I think they're only like 10 foot sections or something like that, so it should be all right. And that's what I'm going to do! Hmm! No problem, man. Bye. That's just a little branch. A little branch landed not too far from a hose window. <laughs> so, thank God nobody got hurt, man. If that would have fallen on the house, uh, it could have been a very different evening last night if that had fallen on the house. So, you know. So, let me explain something to y'all. I am a born-again uh, believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that, by defi definition, I can't talk, it makes me a, a massive believer in the supernatural, okay? So I was watching that storm come in, and when it started getting real bad, I decided to run upstairs and look at those trees from Mahala's window, because the window is right there by the tree. She was asleep. So <clears throat> I went up and looked at that sucker and the branch had already fallen down. So I was trying to make sure that the tree wasn't going to come in on the house. And for a second or two or five, it looked like it was going to come in. And I said a little prayer. I said, Lord, we need your help right now. And that was it. So, um, yeah, when I talk about things like it could have been a different night and uh, we, we asked the Lord for help. You better believe that I know he answered our prayers. God hears prayers. You just got to pray. The Lord is good, man. In the, in the middle of that storm, I was looking through that window right there. And uh, I saw these trees over here just shaking violently, man. I mean, with a purpose. And... Uh, <clears throat> I said, Lord, we need your help right now. And uh, he helped big time. So uh, God is awesome, man. Keep you safe through the storm. Believe that, baby. Hmm. Just so you have some idea of how large this thing is. Try to get down here real quick. That 
branch is a good six inches wide, man. Probably weighs several hundred pounds. <clears throat> so, I may have to go get a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, man. I might have to go get a chainsaw. That is one busted up branch, dudes. For real. Bye. Pretty much gotten all the branches off that were attached to the back porch. That back porch, actually, I'm proud of that thing. It held up pretty good, man. Um, I guess I built it pretty sturdy. Yay! Me! <laughs> anyway. Now I gotta start chunking this thing up in big chunks. So that I can at least get it off the roof. And then those big holes in the roof, I'll figure something out, man. We will figure something out. I don't know what yet. It looks like since that piece is like ripped upwards, it looks like the branch hit, busted through, and then yanked itself back up through there. I don't know. That's crazy, man. That's a lot of damage. That's a metal roof. That's a good, thick metal roof. And it just busted through. smoking or burning <laughs> oh shoot Hi everybody, it's the end of the video again, yeah. <laughs> so, we got it all cleaned up, we, mm -mm, me, I got a mouse in my pocket, I got it all cleaned up, actually I can say we, me and the Lord cleaned that up, dadgummit, heck yeah, alright, so we got it cleaned up, and uh, all that's left to do now is try to find you know go to Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere and try to find uh, some metal roofing that's the same type as that and uh, the right length and just I think I probably covered up with one piece I'll probably buy two and just do a good cover job just in case you know but uh, other than that man she's good to go um, we're very fortunate very blessed uh, we will have to get the dump trailer out here and get all that stuff I just got it in piles right now get all that stuff taken out to the dump. So, 
from the storm of 2019. We'll see you later. Bye.